Welcome everyone to the William and Mary class of 2021 biology department graduation celebration. I'm Laurie Sanderson, chair of the biology department, and I'm delighted to introduce this event. While I speak, we hope you'll be happy to see that the names and photos of the graduating seniors will be featured on your screens. So first, enormous congratulations to our graduates. You have succeeded. We want to let the class of 2021 know that the biology faculty members are extraordinarily impressed by you. Throughout very challenging times with many ups and downs, you've been compassionate community members, creative, motivated, and resilient learners and active advocates for the future. So we really are very proud of your accomplishments and we're excited about your futures. Please do give yourselves a big round of applause. All right, wonderful. You are in fact graduating with the most important major in the world right now, biology, the study of life. We're all objective scientists, and I can guarantee that you've earned the most important major. You are the people who will help shape the future. Now, this event is not just a celebration for the graduating students. Although, of course, our graduates are the stars of the show. But this is also a celebration for all of your family, friends, and supporters. Each of us has people to lean on, and in turn, we support others. So please give a raucous round of applause for your parents, family, friends, and supporters. Thank you to everyone who has helped our graduates get to where you are today. I also want to thank one other extremely important group of people who have helped all the graduates get to this important moment. Please join me in thanking the extraordinarily dedicated faculty and staff of the biology department. All right, so this is how we'll celebrate this afternoon. First, I'll read some of the comments that students submitted to the department on their graduation survey. These are their own words, so I believe I can't be sued. Second, we'll hear some words of wisdom from the biology faculty. Then we'll announce three of our student graduation awards. These will be a surprise to those students. We'll also recognize the seniors who have completed honors research in biology and our graduate students who are receiving master's degrees in biology. Immediately following that portion of the celebration, we'll move into live Zoom breakout rooms hosted by faculty. You're welcome to visit any of these Zoom rooms. Please switch between them as you want, but they won't be open until the end of the awards recognition. Throughout, we strongly encourage celebration and revelry. So please applaud, hoot, holler, scream, jump up and down, don't hold back. So let's get this rolling, starting with an assortment of the musings that our graduating students sent to me. These cover a range of reactions, recollections, and words of wisdom. Here's a quote that was a recurring theme for several seniors. I will always remember intro bio my freshman year when our class project for a week 
was to run at squirrels and see how close we could get before they ran away. The funniest in-class moment was freshman year in intro bio when Professor Allison jumped onto a cube at the end of class and said she felt like a goat doing so. Can't beat seeing Professor Chambers seemingly float over a mucky wetland while an entire class of undergrads were fighting tooth and nail to not get sucked into the mud forever behind him. Dr. Hinton gave me advice one time when I was making a decision about my path after college. She said, you have to think about what makes you want to get up in the morning. That was one of the best pieces of advice I have ever been given. Shout out to Drew Lamar for teaching me where my computer files are located. I still keep everything on my desktop, but at least I know where the desktop is. When you love microbiology and randomly exclaim during frustration, you cannot be serious. Thank you, Professor Forsyth, for expanding my knowledge on various bacteria. Professor Forsyth in microbiology. If you remember one thing from this class, Remember that rabbits eat their poop. Dr. Loy's knack for storytelling and overtly evident passion inspired me to get out into the field and experience science hands on. In my Call 400, Ecosystems Ecology with Professor Moulton, during a pandemic and in my childhood bedroom, I found myself excited for a Zoom class. And that's when I knew I was going to study ecology. Before our virology final, Professor Williamson made us cookies and individually wrapped them. A great example of how thoughtful he is and how he makes every student feel valued. Professor Heidemann forced us to learn biology on a realistic scale. I will never forget the bacterial ruler. I loved when Professor Wawersick would anthropomorphize proteins to explain a complex process. My favorite was the Tom Selleck receptor, Tom Cruise and Tim Tebow pores, and Tiny Tim co-chaperones in mitochondrial protein import. Getting to do research in the biology department was one of the most meaningful parts of my William & Mary experience. Getting to learn and practice independent research skills prepared me so well for going on to my job. a moment in animal physiology lab when it settled over me that I was studying what I loved and on the path towards what was right for me. I think the funniest, most surprising moment would have to be when Professor Allen showed us on Halloween, him being featured on Monsters Inside Me on Animal Planet. I really enjoyed always being able to talk with my professors as people. Professor Phoebe Williams' senior seminar on plant biotechnology was such a gem, the only 8 a.m. I looked forward to waking up to. 
Professor, I loved every second of it, even if I looked a little dead. I just hadn't had coffee yet. Once you start reading papers for fun, there is absolutely no going back. Science is like putting together a Mr. Potato Head. My experience as a biology major has been highlighted by a wonderful group of professors and classmates, all of whom are as nerdy and passionate about science as I am. Such a great support system and such a wonderful department. And some final words of wisdom from a classmate. During my time in the biology department at William and Mary, I have really learned how you never stop learning in the field of biology and how there are always new things to discover, learn and relearn, even when you think you know something. So thank you all very much for your contributions. And I wish we had time for me to quote all of the student comments that we received on your graduation surveys. I want you to know that we've read and appreciated your input. On your surveys, you also told us about your plans for next year. About 40% of you will be taking volunteer or paid positions to gain experience in health sciences, research labs, and environmental sciences. 25% will be taking a gap year many to prepare for medical school or graduate school. And about 35% of you will be entering various graduate and professional programs, including medical school. We look forward to hearing more as your future careers take shape. Please do stay in touch with us, visit us for homecoming when you can, and continue to be a member of our William & Mary community. Now, the faculty of the biology department would like to share some words with you. Dear biologists. It's been a wild year, but as you graduate, we urge you to remember all four of the years you spent with us. Despite the pandemic, many of you were actively working for positive social change on campus and beyond. Not only that, during those four years, there were a bunch of firsts. For example, you were the first class in ISC3, our first science building with a coffee shop. You were the first to see athletics with cardboard cutouts, a recyclable audience. You have enjoyed, or not, spring break days, the first William and Mary class ever to have six days for spring break. You may have heard of the Santa streaker who occasionally streaked through the ISC on the last day of classes. You can now attend classes from your backyard. And you've seen many of your professors talk to you while on mute while using Zoom. Getting up to attend lecture in per person is now the social highlight of your day. Though you had to socially distance, you made face masks a fashion statement. Finally, in these past four years, you persevered through a lot. Some of you endured an all expenses paid trip to Richmond Hall. But many of you are now vaccinated, thanks to science and to Walgreens. You made it through many late night study sessions and found a way into the ISC after hours. And you made it through our toughest classes from how species evolve and interact. How organisms, cells, and models achieve the delicate balance necessary for life. You spent countless hours doing independent research in lab, the field and on the computer, and many of you completed an honors thesis. And our William and Mary iGEM team won awards for designing and modeling potential COVID-19 therapeutics. 
and you received hundreds of grants and internships. During your time off, you volunteered, completed service trips, internships, or scribed in the clinic. Many Fridays, you closed out the week with research symposia and guest lectures. This graduation weekend has been four busy, hardworking, and amazing years in the making. We are thrilled for you that you're having an in-person graduation, limited, but in person. You have made us proud and we will miss you. You will always be a part of our tribe. With all that happened this year, it's all a big zoomy blur, except you graduated. So congratulations, class of 2021. And thank you to all the faculty for sharing those memories. So let's all unmute for a hearty round of applause to celebrate our graduates. Congratulations, class of 2021. Biology. <laughs> Now, we also want to take this opportunity to recognize the 16 seniors who completed undergraduate honors research in biology during this academic year. In addition, we congratulate the five graduate students who completed a master's degree in biology during 2021. Congratulations again to you all. Next, we'll present two undergraduate student awards. The biology department has a tradition to keep these awards secret until graduation. So we're hoping that the two awardees who are about to hear their names read out loud will be very pleasantly surprised. Awardees will receive an award letter and a check. So yes, real money, but in the mail. The biology department has two distinguished senior undergraduate awards, one in areas of organismal biology and one in areas of molecular and cellular biology. These awards recognize a graduating senior who has excelled academically, whether that is in the classroom or in research or both. This year's Distinguished Senior Award in Organismal Biology goes to Amanda Yo. Here to say a few words about Amanda is her mentor, Professor John Allen. Congratulations, Amanda. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to be able to, to honor you with this award. Amanda joined my lab before she even got to campus, emailing me in August before she started to ask about research. She's done research all over the world. She started on the Eastern Shore of Virginia. She spent a summer with me working on uh, sea stars in coastal Maine. She spent a summer in Washington State studying sea stars on the coast of Washington. And she even spent part of her time in Australia doing research as well. And it's paid off. She's one of those students that Dr. Sanderson mentioned is doing an honors thesis. And she's doing a fantastic, well, she's done by now, a fantastic job on it. And uh, it is just such a pleasure to have gotten to know her over the years. It has not always been easy. It has not always been fun, but she has always worked her tail off. And that is something that I really, really love about her. And it's something, it's the only way I've made it this far myself. So I really appreciate that trait. So congratulations, Amanda. Well done. And next, this year's 
Distinguished Senior Award in Molecular and Cellular Biology goes to Elizabeth Lee. Here to say a few words about Elizabeth is her mentor, Professor Margaret Saha. Thank you. Congratulations, Elizabeth. It is a pleasure and an honor to say a few words about you. I first met Elizabeth her freshman year when she was barely on campus a few hours, and she was so eager to get started in research, especially in this new field of bioengineering. She developed a really innovative project on her own to record calcium in vivo in mammalian cells, and she's just been an integral part of our calcium group in the lab ever since. She has presented her research at several national conferences to rave reviews, and her expertise has led to a first author publication with only two authors on it, and Elizabeth did all the work on this one, and that just got published in Biomolecules a few months ago. She's a recipient of the very prestigious Goldwater Scholarship, and she's actually graduating in three years with a perfect 4.0. But before going on to her doctoral work, she accepted a research position at the National Institutes of Health, working in Francis Collins' lab, the director of the NIH, Dr. Fauci's boss. And yes, she actually interviewed with Francis Collins. I am sure that Elizabeth will go on to a spectacular research career. We are just so proud to have had her in our department. Thank you, Elizabeth. And congratulations. Many congratulations to all of our graduating students. And now we want to invite everyone to remain at this webinar site for a concluding synchronous portion of our biology commencement celebration and for an announcement about our faculty breakout rooms that will follow. So there'll be a brief pause while we connect to our synchronous program. Please stay right here with us.